In this video, I want to talk about Apple Business Connect and how it can be a very important part of your overall Google business profile, and I said that correctly, Google business profile, and your Google rankings and your citations across the web. So to get to uh, Apple Business Connect, you're going to go to businessconnect.apple.com, and it's going to have you log in as you normally would to your Apple account. If you don't have an Apple ID or an Apple account, you're going to have to set one up. It's free to do it. If you have an iPhone, you've already got an Apple account or an Apple ID. Why do I care about Business Connect? So Apple Business is actually linked with Yelp. And I'm not, those of you who know me know I'm not a big fan of Yelp. And I don't think that I would not sign up for Yelp if you haven't signed up already. That's just my personal opinion based on experience with clients that Yelp sometimes can be a problem. You don't have to be connected to Yelp to allow you to do this with Business Connect. You just want to have this set up. It's just another one of the citations that we use when we do citation building. If you recall, for Google My Business, you have your Google My Business or your Google Business profile used to be Google Business, and you've got citations. Now, citations are verified listings that you have across the web that let Google and other businesses know that you are who you say you are. And that might be with the Yellow Pages, it might be with City Search or any of these other, or Yahoo, any of these other companies that provide these directory slash citation listing services. And some citations are more important than others. A Yahoo.com citation is much more valuable than one from you know, a local uh, town directory where you know 300 people live there. So obviously, you know you don't have to do thousands of them, but you want to get a good number of the important ones. And so, Google says that they do use for local search verification. The question becomes: Is if I'm verified on 20 citations or 20 listings, um, and you're verified on 10, am I going to rank higher? I don't know. And if you're ranked on 20 teeny tiny small business ones, and I'm ranked on 10 very important ones. Is that going to shift it the other way? And the answer is, as it is with Google very often, we don't know. So what it comes down to is, do you want to get as many top level citations as you can? Generally for our clients, we run about 50 or so. That's about where the, you know, you have an, an impact level, an authority level. And after that, it tends to drop off a little bit. So we like to do those. And then what we also do is now we're starting to move into Apple business. Now, um, Apple Maps, don't forget, is becoming bigger and bigger. So for people who use Apple Maps, you want to be able to use this to give them as much information as possible. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to add your location. You're going to go like this and add it. You're going to fill out the information right here to, let's talk about it, to add your business. And you're going to search for your location name and you're going to fill this out. We've already been added, but let's just do it again. Short Hills Design. That's funny. This is a very old address for us, but that's okay. It's going to add, and I already manage the location, so that's great. View the location details. And so we're going to have to edit this um, because it thinks, oh, it knows. See, it knows that I'm updated already. But what's going to happen is, and we'll talk about it, when you first verify your company, um, you're going to have to fill out this information like you would for Google My Business, and it will go through it for you. I have an older video that I'll link to here that will show you how to actually sign up for Apple Business Connect if you need. When you come over here, you're going to have the information. I'll move me over there. You're going to want to add a logo, and that logo has got to be 1024 by 1024. So you, know, you might have to have a larger size of your logo, and it is going to crop it into a circle. So if your logo isn't a circle, you're either going to have to kind of zoom out so your logo fits like a square, or you're going to have to make a circle version of your logo or just crop it. And then over here, the cover photo, if you add a logo, you're going to have to add a cover photo at the same time. That's going to be about 1,600 pixels wide. Um, if you don't have that, we can help you or ask your web developer they can, or your graphic designer. They can help you. Display name is your company. And again, about I'll just copy that from Google My Business. It's easier. Now, photos we're going to come back to. The address, uh, your hours, phone number, pretty standard stuff. Now, let's talk about actions. Now, what an action is is to link to your website. And we do that on Google My Business. So over here for action, I like to use schedule and you can link this to you know your your you know appointment page if you have an appointment widget that you're using or you have a booking appointment or if you just have you might just have a contact page. You know so you would go like this whatever your website is let's say you know shorthillsdesign.com slash contact and we'll spell it correctly and that would be there. Um, and so you could have that you could have um, other actions that are appropriate services if you wanted to you could link you know to your um, services page I'm not sure that's as helpful but I think that definitely having the schedule would be very important and then these are more for shows or events or things like that if that's the type of 
business that you run, you'll do that. But for professional service businesses, dentists, physicians, lawyers, accountants, uh, things like that, you might, you know, I don't know if you really need shows, events, and parking. So that's actions. Now let's come back here. Let's not save my changes. Uh, we're going to do photos in a moment. Showcases. Showcases are really not for professional service businesses. Showcases are more for if you're having, again, like this, like they're showing you special, like, you know, special event. Now, if you happen to be having an Invisalign day or something like that, you could certainly do that. That would make sense here. You put Invisalign day and, you know, like this. Invisalign day, describe it. And then over here, you can put an action. You can add a photo or you can, you know, have them call now. So these are the actions you want them to do. And you would want them to, you know, let's say call now or get directions or something like that. That would be a showcase. Um, I'm not sure how you know they they run for up to 30 days, but if you're doing something like an Invisalign day, that makes sense. But otherwise, it's not really um, necessary, I think, for again professional service businesses. Now, over here, this is if you have an app, which you know you have in the app store, so we don't really need that. Categories you can pick your categories. Sometimes they'll have other categories. Let's see, like SEO, they don't have that, or you know local SEO, they don't have that. So. We do have, you know, web designer and marketing agency that works for us. And then over here, we've got good to know attributes that will come back to you. So let's look at photos now. So to make this a little more confusing, you've got photos over here, which is the same photos as you can see. See, I lost it already over here. And you can just add photos. I would add a logo, add photos. I would add a logo. I would add just like you would for Google My Business. I'd add a logo. I would add your... Um, maybe a picture of the outside of your business, the office, the inside picture review. Um, there you go. And then of course, over here now under info again, showcases we talked about. I'm not sure why the order is different here. You've got photos and then showcases, but that's okay. Insights is just data. Uh, you know, what's, what's the, um, you know, the numbers, which you don't really need to look at right now. Now, good to know. This I think is very, very important. For search, you're going to see here, here's a list of things that you're going to have to decide um, what works for your business. And so here's that list. And what you do is you can just, you know, you pick this out. So we are, um, let's see, we accept credit cards. We accept, um, let's see here, we don't do COVID-19 testing, yeah, but this is important for you. A wheelchair accessible, elevator, you know, smoke free. Um, you know, and again, if you're a professional service business, I'm not sure if that really matters, but you know, service animals welcome. We do have gender, you know, so this kind of thing you might want to fill out just because, you know, Apple's trying to be something for everyone. So you do might want to fill this out just to have, excuse me, to again, give your profile the best opportunity to be ranked as possible. So let's cancel that out here. And there you go. So that is, Apple Business Connect, and I strongly recommend that you fill out your profile and claim your profile. If you haven't done that already, you should go ahead and uh, claim the profile and then start filling this out, especially these good to know areas, because I don't know how important that's going to be in you showing up on Google Maps. Obviously, if someone does a search for your location on Google Maps, excuse me, Apple Maps, they'll find you. But if they are going to do a search for, uh, you know, dentist or something like that, or lawyer or whatever it is on Apple Maps, you do want to have the ability to differentiate yourself um, by having at least you know, some photos, your logo and you, and the outside inside of the practice and this filled out. So as always, let me know if you have any questions and we're going to link to the um, other video how to set up Business Connect uh, down below.